More now on the breaking news out of Haiti. Former dictator Jean-Claude Duvalier, known as Baby Doc, is dead. His lawyer says the 63-year-old died of a heart attack at his home. Natasha Fata is in the newsroom with the details. So, Natasha, take us through what we know so far. Absolutely. As you said, confirmed by his lawyer, dead at the age of 63 because of a heart attack in his home. This is the man we are talking about, Haiti Jean-Claude Duvalier, better known for many as Baby Doc, considered it a birthright to be president and leader for life of the nation state of Haiti. And he took power after his father, Francois Duvalier, who was also the president of the country, suddenly died, leaving his son as the leader of the country. So at the age of 19, Baby Doc became the youngest president of any nation state in the world, and he ruled with an iron fist. Not only was he accused by his detractors of embezzling millions of dollars from the state coffers, but also of torturing his opponents, uh, killing people, selling off um, people into some considered slavery in the country. And while he was profiteering, as his detract detractors say, they say that millions of people in the country were suffering some of the worst poverty seen anywhere in the Western Hemisphere under his rule. Now, he was ousted in 1986 after ruling since 1971, went into a self-imposed exile into France and stayed there for more than two decades, suggesting that one day he'd like to come back and once again rule over Haiti. He was told repeatedly by the leadership and the lawyers there that that would not be allowed. And if he did, he would be charged with embezzlement. But in 2011, in January of that, of that year, he surprised everyone by returning. And he said he was coming back because of the earthquake that destroyed so much of Haiti, as many of us remember. He said that he was coming back to rebuild the country, Andrew. But his, again, his detractors were saying he was coming back because this was an opportunity to once again profiteer from the misery of what was happening in Haiti. The day after he arrived on the ground, he was taken into police custody, charged with embezzlement, charged with torture. Human rights activists wanted even further charges, but there was a back and forth for the past three years, and he was never um, in any way prosecuted officially because the lawyers never really pushed through. So human rights activists for really for decades wanted some sort of justice for what he and his father, they accused him of doing for decades in the country. But now, as it seems, it is too late. He has died. He never really saw his day in court. We know he has a son named Nicholas and a daughter named Anya, and we're looking for any statement from them. We'll bring that to you as it comes in. All right, Natasha, thanks. You're welcome.